if you're looking for a good novel to read, we have a suggestion. The author of the five-star suspense novel, Black Rabisi, is here, and he has a new book coming out this month, and it's called Broken Brotherhood. Novelist and podcast host Rasheem Rook is here to tell us more. Rasheem, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, Mimi, thanks for having me. Absolutely. It's good to see you. Pleasure's all mine. Pleasure's all mine. Absolutely. So tell us about Broken Brotherhood. Uh, what can readers expect from this second novel of yours? Oh, they can expect a continuation of the roller coaster ride that they experienced in Black Rabisi. Uh, not even that you need to read Black Rabisi in order to fully enjoy and read Broken Brotherhood, but it's about a young man who worked as a, a, a violent mob enforcer who um, got caught up in the family business. And as a result of being um, tied down with all the stress and the murder, had to get away with from, 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 from the DC area and went to go someplace else to get some peace. And what you'll find in Black Broken Brotherhood is that he is drawn back home to protect the woman that he loves, who has now been threatened with death. So um, if you enjoy roller coaster rides, thrillers, suspense, page turners, and, 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 and guesses like who done it, plot twists, then you're gonna enjoy Broken Brotherhood. You know, the cover is very interesting. You have a motorcycle, you have cards, something that looks close to what the White House would look like. Is that any correlation? Does that happen in the book? Any hints that you can give us? Well, the, the family business had always been illegal gambling. So you you have the, uh, the, 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 the cards to speak to the illegal gambling piece, you have the motorcycle, and I'll give you a little hint. There is a motorcycle gang that shows up and is starting to wreck shop. They are called Broken Brotherhood. And what you have behind that is the U.S. Capitol, because the backdrop of the story of the series takes place in Washington, D.C. Okay. Um, I'm originally from New York, but I've lived in Washington, D.C. since 1998, and I've come to really enjoy that area and the backdrop of this story is the gentrification that has been taking place in D.C. with the um, uh, quote-unquote revitalization that happens in urban areas. Mm, very, very interesting. Uh, Rashim, how long have you been writing? I have been writing probably my entire life. Okay. Um, started in, in, in elementary school with poetry. Um, by the time I got to high school and college and made my way down to D.C., I was doing a lot on the underground spoken word scene. Um, but in terms of writing novels, I started that back in 2005. And in this, this, this thing about writing, you write what you enjoy. You write what you know and you write what you like. And I thoroughly enjoy reading suspense novels. So I felt like I couldn't really get my storytelling chops on in uh, spoken word and poetry. And I needed a little more space few more words and a couple more pages. So I turned the uh, the ignition over to start the car of novel writing. And that's what brought me from Black Rabisi all the way to Broken Brotherhood. You know, Broken Brotherhood is a very interesting title. Um, how did you come up with that title and um, the idea for the book? Well, in the book, um, there are a number of relationships that are alluded to where um, men have served as brothers in each other's lives. And as a result of stress and jealousy and greed, that brotherhood had been broken. What has come to symbolize that is this motorcycle gang, gang that is a collection of broken men who have now formed their own brotherhood. And as a result, they are called the Broken Brotherhood. So I saw an opportunity to play off that theme in different ways. And that's how I came up with the title. I love the title. Can't wait to read it. I also really quickly want to bring up your podcast because I'm a big fan of your podcast. It's called Straight No Chaser. You and some of your friends co-host this weekly podcast. Can you tell us a little bit more about it and where we can find it? Oh, sure. Straight, S-T-R-8, the number eight, Straight No Chaser podcast. We have been friends for over 20 years. Um, there is a, a chemistry that we have that cannot be duplicated, mimicked, or faked. And we love each other hard, we fight each other hard, and we come back together and love each other hard. And as a result of that, we are able to come together and share our own thoughts and opinions about a myriad of things, whether it be popular culture, politics, relationships, or just shooting the breeze about whatever's going on. 
And you can find it, of course, on all of your podcasting platforms. You can find it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, Google Podcasts. And we also are on YouTube where you can catch snippets of our conversation and what and see what that 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 love and that family look like looks like. The all the piece I'll add to it is we stream monthly to Facebook. So you can always find us on our Facebook page. Love that. And lastly, I have to ask, when does the book come out? Where can our readers get a copy? and all of that good jazz. Excellent. The book is released on the 4th of October, which is next Tuesday. The book can be found at Amazon as well as Barnes and Nobles on that day. And exclusively, if you read uh, eBooks, the Kindle will be exclusive to uh, uh, Amazon. The eBook will be exclusive to Kindle. And if you give me till the end of the year, we will have the audio out as well. So you can go and listen to it through Audible. I would love to. Your voice is, it's giving me that. I would love to have you read that to me. So, Rashim, I'm going to be checking for that audio book. Um, thank you so much for joining us. We cannot wait to read Broken Brotherhood October 4th. We are excited. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me, Mimi. Uh -huh.